Hi guys, my name is Andrea. I know a lot of you guys already know me from IG. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I have a lot of student nurses and friends that follow me in general and always ask me questions here and there. And I asked a while ago on my IG story if anybody wanted me to do a night shift nurse routine and I got an overwhelmingly response of yes. So here I am. Um, a little bit of backstory about me. I have been a nurse for 13 years now. In all those 13 years, I've been working night shift. So I have a lot of advice. I have a lot of tips. I have a lot of expertise that I can share with everybody. So that's part of the reason why I made this video. Um, so a little bit about my back nursing backstory. When, um, when I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a doctor. I knew I wanted to do something in the medical field. And then when I turned 16, I ended up having my first child. So that kind of detoured my plan a little bit. And then I wanted to become a pharmacist. But then when I started taking the math classes in college, I was like, eh, nope, not for me. So I ended up um, just pursuing the nursing career. I always knew I wanted to do the medical field and I wanted to go into something that I could advance further if I wanted to. So I ended up going to my local community college and I got my associate's degree in nursing. I graduated in 2008. Um, and for me personally, I am very happy with my associate's degree in nursing. I have a lot of friends who've gone on and got their bachelor's. Um, become educators, become nurse practitioners, and I am so proud of them. But personally for me, I enjoy bedside nursing and I'm happy where I am. Also, another reason why I'm happy, I don't wanna pursue further education right now is because I have my child who's about to become a nurse practitioner herself. So I wanna invest my time and energy in her. But that doesn't mean that I can't make more money if I wanted to. You know, in the world of nursing, there's always plenty of overtime and there's always um you can always get another job somewhere else and work part-time or per diem and you could just make lots of money but anywho so when i graduated in 2008 i started working at the san joaquin general hospital and i was working in the med surge tele step down unit and every now and then we would work in the icu um so i was there for about eight years and when people say if you can survive at the county hospital you can survive anywhere it is so true I, you know, you're always short staffed, you work on, um, you know, minimal resources. So your nursing skills really, really get up there. So I worked there for eight years. And um, part of the reason why I left the county, it wasn't because of more pay. It was more because I felt like my nursing license wasn't protected. Now your nursing license is what gives you the okay to practice nursing. So if something would happen with a patient and they turn around and sue you, they can very easily revoke your license and then you would be out of a job. So part of that reason that I left the county hospital was because of that. And the other reason was because I was getting a lot of nursing burnout. Nursing burnout is real. And it was to the point where I was like, I don't wanna be a nurse anymore. So that was kind of what sent me over to just look, start looking for other jobs. Now I knew when I left the county hospital that I wanted to either go to ICU or the ER. And I was lucky enough to get a position at a local community hospital. Um, in the ER and I've been there for five years now and I absolutely love it. You know, every day is a different shift. Um, you don't know what you're going to get. Some nights, some nights we get nice chill nights. Other nights we get a gunshot wound coming in through the back door or we get two simultaneous codes at the same time. And by codes, I mean people that we have to do CPR here and then we have to do CPR there. It just it just depends on what you're gonna get. It just, you don't know. So I really, really like that. I like um, being in a critical situation. I know it sounds terrible, but I feel like um, it, it definitely keeps you on your toes. And I, I really, really like that. And then just, just the fact of helping other people out. So stay tuned. Uh, this week, I think I'm gonna try to do the, my night shift nurse routine video. And uh, please comment share i guess i don't know how this thing works <laughs> comment um message me if you have questions or video ideas you want me to do i'm just excited to share my nursing knowledge you know i've been watching a lot of the youtube videos out there and i see a lot of like newer nurses making these videos and i just feel like oh my gosh i have 13 years and i have so much i could share with all of my 
young nursing friends and you know student nurses that are wanting to go to school or just people in general who don't know if nursing is for them so please feel free to keep watching and thank you for watching and your support bye